Hey, welcome to the Shortwave Radio Channel, and we have a review of a radio, and it's a very unique type of radio. Uh, so this is the Xiaoyuan R1, and this uh, was, of course, uh, free of charge, uh, given to me by the company, so I want to say that before the review. And um, it is, first of all, beautiful. Uh, that's the first thing you'll notice on opening or unboxing is how beautiful this radio is. It is really um, a kind of a, you know, artwork, basically. Um, it is real walnut wooden case. And um, the front grille is carefully designed. I mean, it looks like really one of those old retro radios it is beautiful to look at and definitely beautiful for anybody that wants to have something that looks good and is you know maybe a kitchen radio um or put it on a shelf somewhere it's just it's just beautiful and this is the back so what is this exactly so this is a we're gonna kind of put it in the category of a Bluetooth speaker that incorporates FM radio and a shortwave radio. The shortwave coverage goes from 5.6 to about 23 megahertz, 20 around there. Um, it is uh, FM, of course, standard FM band, and of course the Bluetooth part for you know if you can want to pair your phone. And uh, yesterday I was playing some uh, podcasts, for example. Uh, like I said, it, it's a beautiful uh, receiver. Now um, it has in the back the connectors, first of all. So here you have a USB-C for charging, but you can keep it um, plugged in if you want, and it will power the radio if you're listening. For example, if you put it out as a kitchen radio, because this is really a tabletop, it's quite heavy. Uh, internal, external antenna switch which will probably almost always be an external. And there's a connector here that has two uh, functionalities. One is an audio cable. If you have um, an auxil auxiliary device that you have, want to plug in here for playback on the receiver or um, antenna. So if you want to plug an antenna there, um, you will probably want to plug in an antenna, an external antenna here. Uh, there is a small antenna, kind of wire antenna, included with it, but you'll want better than that if you want to receive shortwave. Um, in terms of uh, the front, you have three buttons. So the button are for, of course, power on and volume. Then you, uh, right here, <laughs> sorry, it's right here. And this actually lights up the dial here. So it's kind of nice to see. It's a little hard to see here on the, but uh, if I put it at a certain angle, you will see that the dial lights up. It has different colors depending on what mode you're in. Uh, is it, um, you know, FM or is it on the radio, for example, or auxiliary, or is it Bluetooth? Um, and there's, of course, an, a little LED here that lights up when you're tuned to a radio station. The middle knob, uh, so when we continue, so on and volume and volume is very strong by the way you can have very very powerful audio with this uh the middle one here is for tone control so if you go from one end it's more into the bass the other end it's the higher frequency so it's kind of a tone control um it would have been better to have several buttons separate for maybe you know treble and bass and so on but they chose to have mostly one button for tone and finally the last one here is for choosing do you want an fm radio shortwave auxiliary input or bluetooth to connect a device um, audio is quite good it's not up to par to some other radios my uh, saint Jean, for example which is a internet radio the wfr32 sounds a lot better but for listening to voice it's actually good 
Um, I'd, I'd see this listening to different podcasts that I listen to uh, through my phone that I would pair up with. And um, I probably will use this a lot in doing that rather than anything else. Um, so this is, of course, uh, good for audio for mostly voice, like I said. Sorry for the noise. They are cleaning the street. Um, in terms of radio, the performance is good on FM. I, I was lis listening to most of, well, local FM stations, no problem. Um, the, I did hear WVPS on 107.9, but it's a little harder to get on this than on most radios. So the FM receiver isn't that great, but it's, it's there. It, it will get all your local stations. That's for sure. And then there's shortwave, and shortwave has one major issue, and it's the fact that there's just too much jam-packed in a small dial here. So what happens is that it's tough to find the station you want. It's tough to tune. you got to go real slow. Uh, but with a decent 20, 30 feet of wire, you do get the strongest uh, signals from shortwave. So yesterday I was able to listen to... Uh, Radio New Zealand, I got the BBC, I've got uh, Radio Romania. Uh, so those stations came in quite well, as long as you have a decent antenna. And that's where an external antenna will be a must if you want to have reception of shortwave on this radio. Uh, it, it doesn't have a telescopic, as you noticed. Uh, so you really need an external antenna to get shortwave. It's really not a DX machine. It's not going to receive the weak stations you want to hear. And it is a DSP-based radio. The silicon integrated chip is in this. So what happens is that it mutes slightly and it tunes like a DSP radio, uh, even though it's kind of an analog-style dial. So uh, not you know the best shortwave radio in the world. Uh, it, it will receive the strongest station. Um, I could see this as a kitchen radio uh, because, because it's beautiful or a, a radio maybe in your living room if you like to listen to FM broadcasts. A lot of people listen mostly to FM. Um, there's an interesting omission. There's no medium wave or AM radio as we call it. And it was decided that instead of AM radio, they would put shortwave. Uh, as most of the other radios they've seen in this class were AM, FM most of the time. They thought, hey, why not put FM in shortwave, uh, which for them was a better idea. Um, yeah, it would have been nice to have AM because here in North America, we do have a lot of AM radio stations. So that would not have been a bad idea. But uh, the, the decision that they took was to have shortwave instead. Um, like I said, shortwave 5.6, roughly to 23 megahertz. Uh, difficult to tune in. Um, Bluetooth works fine. It's easy to pair with your phone. Um, it This radio is not going to be a shortwave radio for most of you. If you buy this, it's purely for the fact that it's extremely beautiful. It's really a work of art. It's not like the other radios that look cheap. Uh, I mean, the buttons are metal uh, and the finish is beautiful and well done and and perfect, uh, honestly. So it's kind of, you would buy this, personally, I think you would buy this for its looks and maybe, you know, for like FM radio listening and um, maybe some podcast through your phone or computer when you pair it with Bluetooth, things like that. Um, and, you know, you have the novelty of getting shortwave if you want to put a decent antenna on it. I noticed that it works quite well with um the uh, my end fed in the backyard so that that you know for me is nice of course it's not given to everyone to have a decent antenna so um you might just use it for fm or for uh the um the uh, capabilities of pairing your phone or computer for audio uh strong audio like i said not that bad i mean it's 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 good audio uh, it's listenable for music, but it's like I said, there are be better options out there for music. But for voice, it's kind of perfectly matched for anything that has the human voice. So a podcast, listening to some station streaming, stuff like that, uh, paired with Bluetooth could work well. 
So that's pretty much what I have to say. Uh, don't, if you want to buy this to have a great shortwave radio, that's not the, you don't buy it. If you want to buy this, I think it's more of, uh, I've got a, a couple of, of comments on that, that people said, wow, this, the finish on this is beautiful. And it's definitely is, um, it, you'll, you'll buy this mostly because it's really nice and you could, you know, use it as your FM radio at home, or like I said, pairing with Bluetooth. So that's the, uh, uh, Showa Yuan, the Shao Yuan R1. I have a hard time pronouncing that name. Uh, sorry. Uh, and uh, it's available now. It is, like I said, very beautiful. But um, shortwave could have been improved, maybe. But it's kind of difficult, you know, uh, because they would have had to add more scaling. You know, one of the biggest things about these old radios, if you look at old type radios, the vintage radios that have these wooden cabinets like this, they usually spread the shortwave bands into several bands. And the reason they do that is because it spreads, it expands the bands with enough space so that it's easy to tune. Here, they just put it in one. So from five to 23 megahertz, it's really jammed and you have to really tune slowly. So I hope you liked the review. And uh, like I said, this will be more in the category of buying a beautiful radio that could be you know, your tabletop in the, in the kitchen or in the living room for uh, pleasant listening to your favorite FM station maybe, uh, especially for talk radio. And pairing it with your computer or phone, listening to your favorite uh, podcast, for example. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.